Okay, for now, again, we're talking about the yielding adjustment. The number one adjustment that you want to do on this is have your patient come up to a chair and sit. And they want that sound side to be the same as the amputated side as far as resistance. So go up and down multiple times, whatever is necessary to get that yielding set for that patient. Once the patient is very happy with that, that's the best place to start. Now, I want to talk about a very important part of yielding that we've discovered about this knee that helps a tremendous amount in training. And that is walking forcefully backwards. If you pretend that my right leg is the amputated side, what I want the patient to do is take a slight step forward, bend the knee, get used to being able to bend the knee. The reason why I have them take a slight step forward is because I don't want them to hit the toe brake that will actuate it in the swing when they get to full extension. So they have a flex knee and I want them to feel that resistance. Next thing I want to do is I want them to use that resistance to be able to push off and step backwards with their sound leg. And as they forcefully step backwards, they get used to how that resistance comes into play for going down hills, going down stairs. Now I'm going to talk about another thing that a patient can do, and all of this is opening up parameters for the patient. Now what we're going to do, and this is in a parallel bars, imagine parallel bars, and by the way, please do all of your alignment, all of your setup using parallel bars. So if they're holding on to parallel bars and they start with that bending of the knee, they can take that into a deep squat. And you can ask any AK, that is not a motion they can do with any knee. In this knee, they can do it because it goes way past 30 degrees of resistance. So their knee can go very deep and have control. Now there's no power to lift them up. That's all about the sound side and using their hip, but they can do range of motion they've never been able to do before. All of that translates into those periodic things. It's the bathroom, it's the kitchen where people fall most often. So they're able to push backwards in a bathroom, a kitchen, and make strange motions, and those motions are where they fall. So I like to train them with that, and once they get started with that training, then they're very much free to do a lot of different things.